you've got to have information that is timely to make decisions about that, that information. So we have that with weather. Everybody has exactly what the temperature is, what the forecast is. We have that with air quality in general, but we don't have that with pollen. This is the first of its kind. This kind of data is the data you need if you have allergies. It's the information you need to make decisions. Our goal was to have it be pretty much plug and play. So you, you give it ethernet or a Wi-Fi signal to the internet and you give it power and there's no real user interface that just starts collecting and, and sending uh, data up to uh, the cloud. Now this is sort of the guts of, of uh, one of the devices. Uh, ultimately, we pull air in through a nozzle and there is uh, a, a tape that runs across here and the sticky side is out. And so it collects the particulates against the sticky side of the tape. And while it's collecting, uh, it's collecting for several minutes um, on any given portion of tape. At the same time it's collecting over on the back side here, the microscope assembly is imaging uh, that portion of the tape. Because it's so onerous to count manually, it takes 24 hours to get a sample. So somebody samples for 24 hours and then counts that entire 24 hour period, which is usually yesterday. And that's what they report. That's the only real pollen data that has ever existed for the public to, to consume. Now with this, we're doing that in an automated way and we, we can report every hour. That's revolutionary. Nobody else is doing that. As time goes by, increasing numbers of, of, of studies are showing a pretty significant uh, not just on a significant impact on, on human health um, in just the COPD and asthma areas, but in general health, heart attacks, um, cancer, a lot of other things are being tied to uh, air quality. Um, and so if we can help people know what's out there and do so in a timely manner, then um, we, can, we can help people ultimately avoid certain circumstances. We can also probably help people clean up. Our target audience is the allergy and allergy asthma sufferer. So anybody that has the sniffles, it's, it's empowering to know what's in the air and what's causing the problem. It's also, it's also useful to know that information to make decisions, just like you would with weather data. Mm -hmm.